what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Heather and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I have a thrift haul for you guys today. I went to some various different thrift stores this weekend. So let's get into the haul. The first thing I picked up is this little fox. Let's just get it. It's on the, I don't want to break it. So I had it on the floor. Um, a little fox like fragrance. It's called a sachet. Is that, that's how you say that? I don't know. It holds fragrance. It does have the original tag on it, but I do believe it was kind of just displayed on a shelf for a while because the bottom has some shelfware, like it had collected dust. Um, it still has the original fragrance packet in it. It no longer has a scent. So I think this is really cute and I picked this up for $1.99 and I plan to try this on Poshmark Home. If not, I will just keep it. It's super cute. I've been wanting to pick up something for the Poshmark Home section just to kind of try that out and add something to my closet for that. So. That's why I picked that up. Next, I picked up this Lee Sport Sack purse. It's in great condition. Whoever had it barely used it. I did check like it has all the correct hardware, is authentic, all that good stuff. I know Lee Sport Sack is a sought after brand, even though this may not look like the most trendiest thing in the world. Lee Sport Sack does have a very big following and I picked this up for $5.99. I would have liked to be a little bit lower on this, but I do have it listed for $25 on eBay and $30 on Poshmark because I like to send out those best offers of $25 on Poshmark and I, you have to be in a certain range to be able to do that. So we'll see how this goes. I think I can at least double my money at minimum. I did see the smaller size bag of that sold for, I, I think it sold for $6.99 plus shipping on eBay. So because that's the larger size and that's what I paid, I figured I could easily double my money. So. We'll see how that goes. I've never found Lee Sport Sack before. Next thing I picked up, I have no idea if this was a good pickup or not. This is like a beaded tunic and it is new with tags. The brand is nothing special. It's called Fairchild. I actually couldn't find any comps on that. That looks like, but the beading, like nothing's wrong with this, you guys. It was $5, it's a 1X, and I just picked it up because you couldn't get the beadwork for this. I mean, it only has one little beading flaw on the shoulder, which I've noted in the listings. I'm gonna start it at $40 and see what we can get for it. But I figured it's gotta be worth more than $5, even if it sits for a while. Like, the beading is just gorgeous on it. So that's why I picked that up, and it was a great size. If it was an extra small, I don't think I would've picked that up. <laughs> the next thing I found is an Athleta tank top. Just a nice workout tank top. It's a size medium. This was three bucks. It's in great condition. The year on the tag, it's older, but I mean, this is such a basic and staple type workout tank that I didn't feel that the style looked super old. It's just gray, like a classic color. And for $3, that seemed pretty reasonable to me. So I figured we'd try that out. The next thing I picked up was a great find, and it's gonna look a little dingy on camera, but I'm gonna get it nice and clean. I found a Lululemon, just plain, basic black top. It's got the little Lulu logo back there. The tag looks very disheveled. It's a size six. My guess is that's why it's still sitting there. Upon like looking at it closely, there's definitely some like dust wear and there's no stains. It just needs to be washed. So if somebody like was like, eh, I don't wanna waste my time. This isn't a high sought after Lululemon piece and the tag looks stingy, my thought is that's why it's there, but there's no stains and there's nothing that this won't look nice in the wash when it comes out. And it's just a basic and it was four bucks. So I think I can make a little money on it and it'll at least bring traffic to my closet because whenever I have Lululemon in there, I do get a lot of traffic. So it was definitely worth the investment for me to just be able to throw it in the wash and you know maybe I make like $12 on it and I double my money something like that after fees but I'll pick it up because it's going to bring traffic to my closet all day long if there's no holes or anything like that. What else? I want to do one more athletic piece before I get into the rest. The next are these Athleta. They're just workout capris which is great for spring. The tag on Athleta like if you guys don't know with Athleta, you can check the tag and there's a date usually on the inside. I'll show you guys. So Athleta, and if you go under this tag, there's a little date tag here. It's probably not gonna focus. So 
but trust me, you can find other videos on that. So these are actually from March of last year. So pretty recent Athletifine. They're a size XL and they're in perfect condition. So I think these are going to flip pretty fast, especially going into that springtime time of year. And I paid $4.99 for those plus tax. So I believe that brings it to $5.19 in my state, if I'm correct. That's probably where we're about on that. I do pay, I think I pay 4% tax on all clothes in my state, something like that. So just bear with me. I, I'm giving you these prices probably without tax, but I do pay tax. The next thing I found, and I've never found this brand before in men's, is an Orvis men's button down. Looks like that. It's a really nice style for spring. Nothing's wrong with it. I checked for stains. I checked, you know, buttons. I couldn't figure out like why it was in my thrift store because usually you don't find stuff like this. I found this for $4.99 and I found a matching one probably from the same person, size medium and men's, also for $4.99. And this one's just your standard blue button up. And this is a very popular style for guys going to work. So I have no doubt that these are going to sell extremely quickly. I don't know if I'll lot them yet. I'm not really sure. I need to check comps. Orvis is a very sought after men's brand. Rally Roots talks about it all the time. So if you guys see it, I recommend picking it up. I think I think if I remember from their videos, $5 is like the highest they like to be with it. So I think I'm okay because I paid five bucks for both of those, but we'll see. I'll just have to let you guys know because like I said, I've never sold it before. So just because someone else is selling it doesn't mean it's going to work for you. That's actually kind of a thing that I've realized. Some people do really well selling stuff and some people don't. And it could just be like the type of following you have for your store. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, so I picked that up and I have one more women's clothing piece which I realize there's a very long string that needs to get cut off as I'm upon further examining it. So this is like a, I don't know if it's a poncho. It's not necessarily a poncho, no. It's like a drapey sweater and it's kind of hard to see on camera. It's got a very like bohemian, like flowy, super cozy and comfy look to it. It was $4.99 plus the tax. And it's from the brand Workshop. Workshop is sold at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. It's not like the cheapest of brands, but it's not very expensive either. It's just a middle of the road brand. I just thought because people are working from home, like you wanna cozy up in this. Like it could be professional. You can throw it on at your desk. You can work in this. Like I'm gonna put it on right now. This would be like so cozy to work in, you know? So I just figured because we're in a work from home type of, state right now that this might do well and it's in really nice condition no stains or flaws so normally I don't pick up this brand but this style really spoke to me for the current climate of the world and you have to be thinking about that guys when you're out there you need to be thinking like what are people buying right now what are people doing in life you've got to be thinking about that so yeah and the next thing I found this is kind of a weird pickup I picked up some treat bags that were Pokemon themed these were from 2008, early 2000s. So I just figured I'd pick them up. I mean, they were only a dollar and Pokemon is making a huge comeback. I saw there's only one other person that has these listed. It's not gonna go for a while, guys, like $5 plus shipping, but I mean, so light to ship and so easy to list. And I just figured maybe they'll go up in value as Pokemon's going up. So I don't know, for a dollar it was worth it, right? And now we have the best find of the day, of the weekend, I think, if this is truly vintage, which so far my research thinks it is. Uh -huh. I found Lisa Frank, okay? A Lisa Frank lunchbox, you guys, with the original tag. And of course, this is gonna go dark as I try to bring this closer to the camera. So this is a Lisa Frank lunchbox with the original tag. It definitely has been used. It has some wear on it. It needs to be cleaned. Guys, comps on these from the 90s range from like $55 up to $150, depending on the character. I found one of these sold on Worth Point for $55 plus shipping from 2016. I don't know why mine wouldn't be original at this point. It looks original to me. I grew up during this time period and I don't know if they remade these and I don't think they did. This definitely seems to be 90s upon further inspection, according to all my research, but if you guys think this isn't real, please leave me a comment down below. 
I mean, it's real, obviously. It's really Lisa Frank. But if you guys think this isn't from the 90s, early 2000s, please let me know down below how to identify that. I think it is based on my research, but I could be wrong. I am not an expert in Lisa Frank. I know what I had when I was little, and that's about it. So, you guys, this could be this could be like the money maker find. And I only paid a dollar for this, you guys. One dollar. It was just sitting behind all the bags, hidden away. So be on the lookout for Lisa Frank. It's super hot right now. You guys definitely, definitely, definitely want to pick it up when you see it, unless it's like a puzzle that was remade at the dollar store or something, which all those should have the dates on them. But Lisa Frank is hot right now. Anything 90s is pretty much hot right now. So if you have 90s stuff or you see 90s stuff, pick it up and give it a look because my generation wants their stuff back, you guys. So that's everything I think I have for you guys today. Oh, actually, I think I have one more thing. Yep, I have one more thing. I lied. I just picked up these uh, clip-on earrings from the 70s. They're like a very USA retro style. I really recommend, um, if you see these, picking them up. These have some paint damage, but these easily go for $10 plus shipping on eBay. So I picked them up because I noticed this was like an iconic style from the 70s that I kind of was like trendy. Like people like that like style, that acrylic-y, I don't know if that's the right word, looking style. So yeah, that's everything for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Can't wait to see your thrift hauls. Link any thrift hauls you did recently down below. Love to check them out and hit subscribe if you like this video. Thanks guys.